This is a bit about QR codes. The term augmented reality is defined as an environment that includes both real world and virtual world elements. A very simple example of an augmented reality would be the use of QR codes. If you haven't heard or seen QR codes, you soon will. QR, or quick response codes, are two-dimensional matrix codes that trigger responses in smartphones. The response triggered could be a simple text message, a call to a telephone, a visual, or a trip to a website. By downloading simple free applications to your smartphone, access is simple. Click the app, point your phone to the code, and presto, an interaction occurs. QR codes have been in use in Japan and Europe for several years. Very prevalent in Japan, they have been used in advertising to promote products by sending customers to websites, triggering information such as nutritional details, or prompting a sale via coupon. They have even appeared in architecture. The Tokyo N building, rather than having the typical billboards, was built with a QR code facade. The QR code takes you to a site that gives up-to-date information on the shops and services inside. The vision of the future includes the use of an iPhone app that will allow users to see those inside who want to be seen and heard. By clicking on them, you would see what they are tweeting. QR codes are just starting to become popular in North America. A number of airlines like British Airways and United now allow users to download QR boarding passes to their phone to use at the departure gate. Starbucks is piloting a QR-enabled app that links to a store to allow customers to pay. Some companies are using QR codes to buy and redeem tickets. Hollywood blockbusters like Iron Man 2 are using QR codes in promotions. Calvin Klein is posting a giant QR code in New York to send users to a 40-second racy commercial. True Blood embedded one to promote their new season within a commercial on the last episode of Lost. You can make a statement about who you are with your own QR code t-shirt, belt buckle, tattoo, or business card. And if you think your food has escaped the code, think again. Your next birthday cake may have one, and if you buy a clever cupcake, its code will send you to a site to aid world poverty. There's no escape. Might as well relax on a beach somewhere. For a bit more about our course, activate the QR code above. Mm -hmm.